Hey guys, so today we're talking about fuel solenoid wiring. So this would be a P-pump solenoid. The VE's super simple. I'll talk about that when we're working on Shay's truck later, uh, the 600 horsepower build. But I just wanted to show, um, I had a few guys ask and one of the guys local to us um, asked me about doing some wiring on one of these or how to wire one. So I just thought I'd do a quick video on it. It's just easier than me explaining it. Um, and this is something I haven't done yet. So let's do that. So this is really simple. Now, all of these solenoids, not all of them are gonna be the same color wires, but pretty much all of them do. <clears throat> Your black, okay, not always is this gonna be the case, but I just thought I would, I, this is how 90% of them are. So black is gonna be your ground. White will be your pull signal. So that one is the one that needs to go to your starter signal. So it doesn't matter what you're wiring it up on, that'll be your starter signal. And then the red is gonna be your keyed power. Now this needs to be keyed power while rolling the engine over. Because some, depending on what the end, what it's in, um, you know, like if you've done a swap or something, some powers are not accessory on when key is in start position and it must be in start position because otherwise it doesn't hold the solenoid up. So I just, I got this little battery, um, which these things are awesome for doing testing and stuff. If you guys have never used one, they're awesome for doing testing. Um, I'll just show you how it works just because, well, we're here and we might as well. So black wire which is your ground, black wire, ground, your power wire. Now, if you shove up on this, it'll hold it, see? So, and we unplug it, un unlatches. Now, as long as this battery's got enough power, and I don't know how much power is left in this battery, but we take the, the white wire and you, now this is gonna be your crank on the starter, right? You touch it and it pulls it up. Now, something that you do want to watch if you're wiring and the wiring's different, what you do want to be very careful is if you, you want to test this before you actually wire it to make sure that these are the same because it's some of the aftermarket ones, the white and the red are switched. Um, I've never seen, I've always, the black has always been ground on any one that I've ever done, but not, that's, I'm not saying that that is the case. So that's why I would recommend just grabbing a battery, using the battery on the truck and just double checking how it's wired. Because if you stick this in there, and you leave it like that, pulled in with this, this will let the smoke out, which in turn means it'll cook itself. Because this coil is designed to pull it, not to hold it. So this coil is designed to hold it. So it's just a different, there's more than one coil inside here. So this one is a lift coil, this one is a hold coil. So pretty simple, they're not very complicated. If you wanted to wire it to a solenoid there again, this is just gonna be your 12 volt keyed power. Um, make sure that, like I said, when you are in your, you're going into start position, that it doesn't lose power. Otherwise this will shut off every time. I know quite a few guys that have had problems with that with swaps. You go to start the truck, it starts and fires, but as soon as you let off on the key, the solenoid drops because it's not latched. So just be forewarned if it's not working that way, check that out. But if you're gonna wire up a relay, you would wire this to your, your relay for your keyed power. This you can literally just run right off of your um, starter signal. So the wire coming out of the, out of the engine bay going down to your starter. If you don't wanna cut that wire, you can just run a wire from your starter back up to um, the solenoid. And that's a super easy way to do it. Um, on the power wise side of it, if you're doing this to your starter, you don't have to put a fuse in there at all because it is already fused um, as long as it's wired properly. And then this side, if you wanted to put a relay in, um, I've always used a 20 amp relay on it, but completely up to you um, what you wanna use. I've always used a 20 amp, it's not 20 amp relay, sorry, a 20 amp fuse. I usually use 40 amp relays, 30, 40 amp relays for everything, just cause I'd rather have a little bit bigger relay myself personally. Um, now, a lot of guys have asked about, you can buy these plugs. This is just a big weather pack connector, um, but they're not that easy to find. So usually if I have to ch change this per se, um, you, like I said, you can find these. They're just not that easy to find. They're not super readily available. If you're wiring this up on a conversion or something, I would just use a Deutz connector. 
uh, myself personally, or you can just wire it together and have no connector there. It's completely up to you. That'll be it for this one. Super simple. Like, subscribe, hand me down in the comments with any questions. And remember, it's not rocket science.